everybody, welcome to This Week in Waste. My name is Gage Edwards from Waste360.com, here again with the top headlines from the waste industry for this past week. Lots of good headlines this week, especially a great article on EPR that you should definitely check out. So let's jump into our top five stories right now. Number five, One Energy launches largest US truck charging site. Industrial power company One Energy is trying to make it easier for fleets to align all the moving parts and to help them get started even before they commit to transitioning to electric. The company, most known for its wind and solar installations for industrial energy users, built a 30 MW semi truck charging site in Findlay, Ohio. Number four, which biopolymers degrade the fastest in real world environments? How do the varied, fast evolving bio based polymers infiltrating the market degrade in different real world settings? And what do stakeholders watching the biopolymer space? care most about? These are among a mountain of questions answered in a recent Five Geyers report. Number three, WAGA advanced RNG projects in North America. In Chico Atimi, Quebec, WAGA is making RNG from methane on a closed landfill, selling the clean renewable product to utility Energic and sharing revenue with the shuttered facility's owner, Matrek GFL. Quebec is requiring utilities to inject 10% RNG into the pipeline by 2030, and WAGA sees landfills as playing a role in meeting that target while lowering facilities' carbon footprint. Sorry for messing up all the French. Number two, New York City Department of Sanitation announces key details and contract awards by zone. This, of course, is for implementation of sweeping commercial waste reform, Local Law 199 of 2019. And our top story of the week, Great Expectations. Packaging EPR offers much. Are we expecting too much? Great expectations are ripe for recycling now that four states require packaging companies to pay for recycling. None of these extended producer responsibility states programs are operating yet. Nonetheless, advocates have enthusiastic visions of what they will achieve. And those were the top stories from this week on Waste360.com. You can read more about each of these stories at Waste360.com and other stories and other headlines from the waste industry. Make sure you go there now. Lots of great stuff over there. Even stuff for me, if you can believe that. By the way, happy February. We're already one month down of 20. 2024. Can you believe that? But that puts us within a hundred some days, actually less than a hundred days to Waste Expo. Yeah, I just checked uh, almost 90 days to Waste Expo. So you better be registered. You better be ready for it. Have your travel arrangements ready to go and uh, be there in Las Vegas in May. It's going to be a great time. Until next time. Thanks for watching.